Hello everybody, this is Argon Matrix, welcome you to episode 66 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we completely pwned Volvagia. Well, maybe we kind of failed a little bit in that fight, but whatever. Anyways, so now that we're free to roam some more, we're going to do some stuff before the next temple. Not too much, but a little bit. Uh, namely, there's a few things we can do with the Megaton Hammer, like smash rocks just like this. They take two hits for some reason, but whatever. So anyways, I'm here at the entrance of the Dongo's Cavern, not to go inside, but to use this to get up here. Awesome. And it's nice that it just turned to nighttime because there's a skull shield we can get here. As a matter of fact, it is right there. And this is the sec- I believe this will be the second last skull shield of Death Mountain, which is awesome. And we can also get the last one with the Megaton Hammer too, so... Awesome to that, I guess. Awesome to that, whatever. Alright, uh, I'm also going to change back to my Zora's tunic because I like blue better. Yeah, I'm already, I already equipped the big orange sword, dummy. Don't need to do that again. Alright, so the net final sculpture of Death Mountain is going to be up this way, I believe. And then we can check on our map just to make sure that that's the last one and we'll be good. Alright. Oh, man. So it should be just down here, and no falling rocks, thankfully, which is awesome. So let's smash this thing, and there's our final skill tool right there. Well, Death Mountain, at least. And let's check that for sure now. Um, let's see. Oh, God. Well, we have 72 skull shields. You can see that there. That's awesome. And Death Mountain cleared. So sweet. Okay, so, um, what can I do now? There's a, there's one other thing that I want to do before I move on with the Water Temple. And it's, it involves warping back to the Temple of Time. Not to become a kid, but just because it's close to, it's the closest thing you can get to Hyrule Market. Or, or what's, what remains of Hyrule Market, I guess. Whatever. Yeah. Anyways, anything I can talk about? Um... Well, while I'm on my way to do this, I can just say that, uh, as far as Gubble goes, I have official- I have recorded to the end of Gubble, to the end of the expert mode, because I didn't- I didn't want to play through that game anymore, I played through- I played through that, like, upwards of five times already, just to record all of it up until what you've seen thus far. And, yeah. So, I- it ends on episode 14, I think, I'm pretty sure, and it's pretty awesome, so yeah. Oh, someone's printing something. Sorry, guys, I just gotta take this for a minute. I'll, I will be right back. Just a minute. Alright, guys, sorry. Uh, but, um, I just had to take that, pr whatever was printed there, to the, to my family. Um, yeah, because whenever I'm down in the basement here, which is where I record, by the way, um, I have to, and something prints, I usually just have to take it up to them, like a paper slave. Anyways, so what I plan to do now, it involves using Epona here, and, um, basically, well, I guess I can show this right here, um, you ride right up here, and, oh my god, it's a Poe! Must kill! Must kill! Must kill! Come on! Oh, dude, I missed it. Well, whatever. Yeah, basically, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be capturing all the big Poes here, because if you capture them and bring them all to some guy, and you can capture them in bottles, by the way. I don't know if I ever told you that. But, um, if you capture all ten of them and bring them to some guy, he will give you a reward for that. And it's, the reward's not very worth it, in my opinion, but, uh, whatever. Uh, gotta do it for the sake of the LP. Anyways, so get down now, um... I guess I can just take out all three of my bottles since they're all empty. Cool. Yeah. I actually emptied one of them because it had bugs in it or something. And I caught a big po. So once once you capture a big po, I'm normally just gonna I'm gonna fill all three of my bottles and then go back. But just for the sake of this, I'm just to show it. I'm gonna show you where to take this. So once you get a big po or multiple big po's, as many as you can carry. You take it over to Hyrule Market here, you get off at Pona, and we roll on inside. Yep. 
and then as soon as you're in, you just turn right over here and go inside. Talk to this guy, and he's gonna be all like, Oh, you are quite an energetic young man. You're brave and handsome too. Creeper. Hehehe, <laughs> your name is Argon, isn't it? How? Whatever. Hehehe, <laughs> don't be surprised. I can read people's minds. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that, that explains everything. If I looked as good as you, I could run a different kind of business. Hehehe. <laughs> I'm not even gonna go into that. My shop is the only ghost shop in Hyrule. Because of the great Ganondorf, it is a fine time for business like this. <laughs> Who would want to buy a ghost anyways? Like, what's the what's the purpose of that? God only knows. Oh, I can only hope the world will get gets even worse. Oh, you sick bastard! The ghosts called Poes are spirits of concentrated hatred that hate that appear in fields and graveyards. They hate the world. Young man, if you catch a Poe, I will pay a lot of money for it. <laughs> and so we can show him our big Poe here that we've caught. Or not. Um. Hey, young man, what's happening today? If you have a Poe, I will buy it. Your card now has zero points. Come back again. <laughs> okay, take this. Ha! Look at my purple bottle. Oh, you brought a Poe today. Hmm, very interesting. This is a big Poe. I'll buy it for 50 rupees. Too bad my wallet's full. Grr. On top of that, I'll put 100 points on my non-existent card for you. If you earn 1,000 points, you'll be a happy man. Hehe. <laughs> yes, of course I will. Alright, so then basically, you have to bring all 10 of the great big pose that are scattered around Hyrule Field to that guy. And, uh, I'm not gonna, like, spend a bunch of videos on this like Nintendo Capri Sun did, which kind of annoyed me, to be honest, but it was a good set of videos, so I'm not gonna complain. Anyways, I'm just going to cut to all the locations. I probably won't get it all done in this video, because there's only, like, four minutes or so left. But, yeah. Uh, I guess I don't have to cut to this one over here, just because it's so close. But basically, this is probably the hardest one to get. Um, I'm glad I don't have to do this on my cat on my preview window because it could be a pain in the ass especially aiming at those poses and everything god I'm so happy I don't have to do that so you ride right through here and the big po will appear and oh can I get lucky please yes awesome okay stop stop your pona get down and I gotta make it over there before the big po disappears yes the big po will disappear if you take too long to get to it but I think you have to take quite a while you have to take your leisurely time to get over here or here, whatever, whatever. You get what I'm saying. All right, so uh, I guess I'm going to cut to the next one. I will see you later. Oh, and by the way, um, just just to make this clear, if if you go to the areas where the big pose are and you're not riding Epona, it'll appear as a normal po. So you have to be riding Epona to do this. You can't just walk up to it and have a steady hand while aiming your po. All right, so that having been said, see you at the next one. Alright, so we're here now. It didn't even take that long, like 10 seconds. This probably wasn't even worth the cut, but what's done is done. So you ride right past this tree, and... Oh, that's that was great. Yeah. Poe just slams himself right into the wall, or herself, whatever. I don't know. I don't even know. Anyways, so let's just, uh... Would you stop on Epona? Ah, whatever. And, okay. Let's do this. Good, you didn't slam into the wall this time. Can I get you, please? Please? Oh my god. Yes. Sweet. Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna run out of arrows before I get all the ten- all ten pose, probably. Let me see. I have- I've gotten three now, which means I have to get seven more. Seven times two is fourteen, so even if I get- if, even if I land perfect shots on all the pose, I won't have enough arrows. So yeah. I'm gonna have to go buy arrows at some point, but whatever. Okay, so cutting to the next one. See you then. Alright guys, I'm back now, um, right by this big wall, like a random wall in the middle of Hyrule Field, uh, you can see where it is based on the map down there. Um, if you just ride past the corner like this, I think, uh, yep, your big pole will appear just like that. Okay, let's get the Tichu, come on, I can do this, I can do it, Oh damn it, I missed. Damn it! Yeah, these big poses can get annoying, especially if they don't go in straight lines, they go away from you like that. That can get extremely annoying extremely fast. Alright.
right, so turn opponent. You're doing the moonwalk! Opponent's doing the moonwalk. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Okay, right past the corner again. Here's the big Poe. Oh, don't do that again. Damn it. Oh, I'm gonna... Ah, oh, damn it. You know what? I'll have one more crack at this guy, and then I'll have to go up my more arrows. So, yeah. Uh, and oh look, the video is about to end, so I better make this snappy. Uh, well, I guess I'll just do my end, my ending while I'm doing this. So thank you everybody for watching. Oh, I didn't even make the Pope here. Well, whatever, whatever, dude. So yes, thank you everybody for watching. In the next episode, we will hopefully complete this epic big Poe hunt. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.